Good morning. Look, I was gonna do a whole morning routine, you know, how I usually do like wake up, make my bed, go to the gym, have my little apple cider vinegar honey loving drink. I'm just not in the mood to do that today. First reason, I'm having like back issues, which we'll talk about while I'm getting ready. We will talk about that, y'all. But my back issues are literally making me like bedridden, okay? So at least we're up. And let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. You see this, I actually laid out my gym clothes last night. So y'all can see I'm not lying, I really was gonna wake up and do a whole morning routine and work out and shit. I even did my bed, okay? So A plus for effort. I'm not awake right now. I just tried pouring toothpaste on my cotton pad instead of toner anyways let me tell you all what's been going on if you follow me on instagram you already know if you don't follow me on instagram what is you doing i have back issues every couple weeks it's actually not normal for me to be in my 20s and have this much back pain like the back pain is so bad to the point where i literally like can't move like i can't get anything done i can't focus i threw out my back riding a bicycle in the past I think a big part of it is the way I'm sleeping because this one I'm pretty sure is a pinched nerve, not me throwing out my back. But my posture is just effed up. There's actually so many people that experience back pain, which is crazy for, you know, being in your 20s. Ooh, ooh. But for me personally, it's because I used to dance for like over 10 years of my life. My core was so strong. Like I had such a strong core and I was super, super fit. And that's why I never had back issues. After I stopped dancing, I moved on to content creating, right? So a lot of my time is spent sitting down, editing on my computer, you know, like hunched over, looking down. And I don't move nearly as much as I used to. So my core is not as strong as it used to be, okay? So that's what's causing all like, you know, the back issue, posture, problem sort of situation. And I keep stalling this but i know i need to go see a physical therapist because this is not okay like this literally happens every two three weeks throwing my back out only happened maybe once or twice when i was riding a bicycle which i don't think it's supposed to happen that easily why am i acting like i'm at a doctor consultation right now i'm gonna tell y'all anyways other than that i get like shooting pains that like travel down to my outer thigh and then I also get like the pinched nerve situation. So like this whole area, it's actually, I'm on day three right now. It was way worse the past couple days. I wasn't able to do much. I tried working out legs yesterday because I didn't think that would affect the skeletal muscles of the back and the neck, but it did. So I did maybe like five squats and then I went and took like a 30 minute walk around the neighborhood. So that's why we ain't working out today. Also because the fiance is like pretty much on his way here and I haven't started getting ready. So I'm running late because we're gonna spend the day together. Finally, if you guys don't, the air vents are very annoying, I apologize. Anyways, again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that he's been crazy busy with his restaurant. He just opened up a restaurant at the Irvine Spectrum called Flip Burger, go check it out. Halal, halal burgers. Anyways, and he's been so crazy busy with that. Like, we're barely spending time together. I mean, I still see him almost every day, but it's like only for a couple hours after work or I come by the restaurant and we like sit right outside of the restaurant and like hang out for a little bit. But yeah, I need to do like a power get ready situation ship. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I jumped from topic to topic really quick right now. Anyways, my point is, back to what I was saying, I need to go see a physical therapist. Kofi. I melted some white chocolate chips to make it like a white milk a syrup situation. Added the espresso, added the almond milk. Cheers. I'm gonna time myself. I wanna see how long this takes me. I'm gonna give myself like 10 minutes to do my makeup. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. Here we go, let's see how long this takes me. Okay, serum. Ooh, oh my neck. Oh. Eye cream. Moisturizer. Oh! Ow. Oh my god, I'm already in a minute and a half and I haven't even started my makeup. It's okay. Ow! Primer. 
two and a half minutes in now we're actually ready to start the makeup because we primed and moisturized our face if i don't do this my face gets like super flaky when i apply makeup so i have to make sure it's like extra moisturized all right moving on concealer <sighs> i always want to say mystery bay when i talk about my fiance because i'm so used to calling him that but san actually loves me with like super like natural or no makeup at all so i'm like well that's good because you know i'm gonna be waking up with no makeup on every morning like if i were to put makeup on he definitely likes like the very light makeup look so i'm gonna put this medium coverage skin tint from it cosmetics you guys know i use this all the time because it also has sunscreen in it and it's like super light on the face ow I feel like this takes the longest because I want to make sure everything is like blended very well because if it's not then the rest of my makeup ends up looking blotchy translucent powder I bake it under my eyes and then I apply a little bit all over my face as well because ow that hurt Whew. the bronzer I use is powder form oh, ow. okay now we grab this big brush whatever is left over all over the face like i literally got all of my eyelashes but we're gonna fix that i'm already at eight minutes this is probably gonna be a 20 minute makeup routine you guys know i like applying the bronzer on my eyeshadow for my everyday makeup look it just makes everything look so well like blended together oh oh the air vent finally turned off can you guys see a difference in the audio it just be turning on at the most random times and it stays on for like 20 minutes and i'm like bro i'm trying to vlog do you mind i'd look straight up at you but i can't but please don't be rude oh okay that's all i'm doing for eyeshadow i'm not gonna put liner this is supposed to be like a super quick makeup routine i honestly don't know why i put eyeshadow on i usually just put mascara all right mascara curl i always make such a mess on my eyelids when i put mascara on oh grab the oh <laughs> grab the bigger brush okay my camera died but i literally just cleaned the mascara off my eyelids put some bronzer on um i'll do my lipstick in a second but uh it took me a little over 19 minutes to do this quick little makeup thing it would have taken me 10 if i wasn't you know a crippled grandma here's a little ootd super cash this bodysuit is from forever 21 shorts are from zara but for now ow for now let's make some breakfast okay i tried out this new dish yesterday for the first time it's called shakshuka shashuka shasha something it's really good it takes like five minutes to make super easy so we're gonna make it again because i want the hubby to try it as well i'm gonna put some oven roasted potatoes on the side i already made that there's some left over i'll show you guys how i make it it's literally like three ingredients super quick need eggs all you need is eggs so i'm doing four two for me two for Hassan and then two types of cheeses you can do whatever cheese you like all i have is parmesan and this mexican blend and then the tomato sauce you do sort of drench this dish with tomato sauce but it's okay because it's like what 50 calories per half a cup all right so what you do turn it on to medium heat okay you just drench this to cover the whole pan okay so i'm literally just gonna loop oh my god i'm wearing white i better not spill on myself there's like less than half left so i'm just gonna put the whole thing in there like you really don't have to measure this you just kind of like dump it in move it around to make sure it covers the whole pan then we're gonna crack in four eggs we got one i'm just putting one on each side two three four so here's what it looks like you literally just dump the tomato sauce in there add the four eggs and then we're gonna add the cheese for seasoning i'm gonna use onion powder and some garlic powder and we're just gonna guesstimate now you add your cheeses so i'm gonna put some parmesan and some mexican style blends 
hover it for two more minutes and it will be ready. Look at that. Whew. Oh my God, please. This looks so freaking good. Also made some oven roasted potatoes i'm gonna link both of these recipes down in the description box if you guys want to see in, in like detail how it's made i'm obviously gonna put a lot more potatoes for him oh my god let's add a little bit of avocado on the side oh my god why am i do i always struggle with this that was supposed to be like an aesthetic shot and it wasn't so here is how it's looking like but this is for the hubby obviously because it's like a lot more this is mine even though i can eat that i'm a fat ass but i don't get that hungry in the morning so this will do for me what we're both wearing white we didn't plan it the hubby's here for the taste test just in time let's start with by the way, the, eggs? Yeah, those are eggs. The, Side up? Yeah. Whatever you call it. Yeah, they're a little runny. Just a little. The potatoes are like two days old. That's um, fine. Potatoes last a while. The avocados are not mistween. They're very hard still. Other than that, we're gonna start with the, the shashuka shashuki. Make sure you get the eggs and the sauce in there with the What's cheese. It called? I don't know. Shashuki, shashuka. I like them a little runny, so as you can see, they're a little runnier. Mm. Mm hmm. Do you like it or no? It's really good. Do you like the potato? He's like in the restaurant business, so he's actually very picky with his food. It's very hard, the avocado. Mm -hmm. I didn't make that though. Mm. I didn't make you that. Don't eat this. Why? It'll hurt your stomach. That's way too hard. When you choose avocados. I <laughs> love my man. When you choose avocados, make sure they're brown. You guys know what's so funny? He's actually taught me a lot about like groceries, what things to get and all that stuff. Because he's in the restaurant business, he knows a lot about, you know, that stuff more than me, which is kind of funny because I'm the girl. We're about to head out. I'm just going to undo my bangs and put on some lipstick. Okay, come on. Why, why isn't this working out today? I definitely need to cut my bangs. Because they're getting really long, so I'm gonna need Baba's assistance for that. I don't go to anyone for my hair except for my dad, so I have to wait to go to Vegas, which is gonna be next week. So it's fine. I'm over this. I'm just gonna like. Whatever, okay? The lipstick I'm using is Laura Mercier in the shade. Ow! In the shade Beige in Time. I love this color. Look, it's such a natural shade. My bangs are like really pissing me off today. I don't know why. It's not cooperating. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna put some perfume on. This is my favorite perfume ever, you guys. I've been using it for years. Obviously, I need a new one. I only have a little bit left. It's the Lancome La Vie Est Belle. La, La Vie, La Vie Est Belle. La Vie Est Belle, however you say it. This is what it looks like. Literally, every time someone gives me a hug, they comment on how good I smell. Oh God. I was looking up some exercises for pinched nerve pain. One of them, you gotta make sure your shoulders are back. You need to form a double chin to correct your posture is what they were saying, okay? So right now my head's like this, right? I gotta... And then go back out. And then... And they said, the bigger the double chin, the better, so... This is the side that's hurting, so like... Oh! Another one is like you gotta go up against the wall and just pull up. Oh! This is a workout. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Sam has been trying to like massage this area and it's just like nothing is working. I just have to wait it out. Oh! oh. You're here. 
Where does my hand go? Uh, oh, that's right! There we go. <laughs> Is that good? I felt that. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa, I didn't think it was gonna crack. I've been trying to crack it for two days. I just wanna lay here for like 10 years. Oh! Well, that don't work. Should that be a thumbnail or is that weird? Really? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Stop. That does not look right. We are finally on the way. The AC is blasting because it's been so hot in California. I feel like we haven't done like a day in our life video since he had the mask on, other than the proposal, which if you haven't watched that, you should watch it. I will link it up here. Um, but we are about to begin wedding planning. Um, I've actually been contacting wedding planners, as you guys know, for the past month. So there's been, um, some altercations between us you know they say wedding planning is stressful it is it sure is obviously he hasn't had time to sit and like talk about the wedding stuff like where we want to have it who we want to go with all the little details because he's been so busy with the restaurant so we're finally finding time to do that today i'm just so excited to spend like a full day together because we haven't done that in like what two months you took our anniversary off for a full day for six flags mm -hmm. i can't really look this way that's why i'm looking that way because of my neck so that's why i'm not looking at him we took the full day off for an for our anniversary like a month ago because he knows i've been wanting to go to six flags but other than that yeah it's just been seeing each other a couple hours a day here and there restaurant business you like six flags? i liked yeah. i like six flags but i'm definitely going into it you thought i was gonna be the one that was scared yeah but you were i actually was terrified. scared to go i used to be the biggest adrenaline junkie you guys and i just can't hang no more like i'm more of a disneyland girl now which i would have never said a couple years ago because i'm the biggest adrenaline junkie things are changing i'm getting older we're going to one of our f okay we're going to one of our favorite places we are going to one of our favorite places ever, the Pelican. I absolutely love the vibes there. But the wedding series is coming, you guys. I've gotten some questions like, when are you gonna have your wedding? Where are you gonna have it? What's the status with that? We are doing a whole wedding series. It's gonna be like reality show style, okay? But that's not gonna be posted for a few months from now because our wedding isn't gonna be till like next summer probably. We're just in the beginning processes. For now, I know a lot of Arabs, like they get engaged and then the wedding is like two to four months later yeah no we're gonna wait a little longer than that we don't have to wait we don't have to wait yeah we don't have to wait why because you want a simple wedding and i don't you can have a destination wedding and everyone would actually enjoy it lebanon is a destination darling no it's not yes it is no destination wedding should be on like a a resort an island you know somewhere that's like maybe five ten hours away rather than 17 hours away that's not my vibe an intimate wedding is not my vibe it's fine if it's other people's vibes it's just not my vibe so there's that first altercation i was talking about he likes boutique like he wants a nice wedding but he likes like a boutique intimate sort of wedding and i want a big wedding so that's where we're at right now but we'll talk about it in our little wedding planning session. Look, you deserve to go to the photo that you found right there. <laughs> He's so mean! Senior Fitness Expo, you see that shit? Cause I'm crippled. I need you to understand the lyrics. You're not about to be dancing to something you don't know. Okay, the first thing he says is Team Anafiki or something means I die for you. What is he saying? I thought you knew the lyrics. Kiss your hands. Okay. Don't leave me ever. Stop 
by Trader Joe's and decided to be fat asses. Look at all that. Excited? I'm so excited. Yeah, we're gonna go sit by Starbucks. We were only at Pelican for like 20 minutes. We did some work. And now we're going to Starbucks. We got a lot of stuff. So starting off with this, they went a little crazy with the cold foam. It's like half of the cup. Iced triple espresso in a venti cup with two pumps of white mocha, two pumps of toffee nut with oat milk and salted caramel cold foam on top. I switched it up with the salted caramel cold foam. This is my favorite thing at Starbucks. Chocolate chip cookies, tortilla chips, three layer hummus, traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy. You don't like spicy. Oh. You guys know he's not a big coffee fan because it makes him all jittery. So he just got this uh, mango smoothie from Trader Joe's. Couple more things. White chocolate covered pretzels and some gummies. All right, guys, so we are about to sit and do some planning. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I am explaining everything in more detail during the wedding series. But we are starting off just sort of looking over all the planners I've spoken to. I have a whole like Excel sheet. I took notes on every planner I've spoken to. And we're sort of just going through every single one out of like literally the 30 I talked to seeing what we liked, what we didn't like of each, looking at their work. So the hubby is looking on Instagram at some of their work just to see examples of have they done something similar to the theme we want. Are they easily communicative? Because if we have it in Lebanon, um, they need to be good at communicating. Otherwise, it's going to be very stressful. I hope you guys can hear me. We also wrote down a list of things to ask, like how many people are going to be attending the wedding because that makes a big difference in the budget. Like asking the parents what areas we want to have the wedding in because like for example, Hassan's dad uh, used to live in Lebanon and he knows a lot of people in Lebanon. He definitely is helping out with recommending certain venues, certain areas and things like that. But yeah, we're just going to be sitting here knocking this out for the next two hours or so and hopefully move on a step because it's been a month and i haven't moved forward whatsoever so now that the hubby finally has time to sit and listen and put his expertise in it we should move on a little bit after today i want to at least narrow this down to like three planners um and then go from there We were gonna go grocery shopping, but then decided against it because I leave to Vegas in three days. And I'm gonna be in Vegas for a whole 10 days. Are you gonna miss me? Aww. Kind of. Kind of? Mm -hmm. You guys, it's actually not normal. Like, how attached I am to this man. I was a very like independent, like I don't need no man. Like I was always, I was always that type of girl. But now it's like I go two days without seeing him and it feels like a year. So the only reason I'm not excited to go to Vegas is because I'm gonna go a whole 10 days without seeing him. But I have like a commercial and I have an audition and then it's Baba's birthday all in that week. So there's gonna be, you know, quite a lot going on. I'll probably vlog my Vegas trip as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm craving something healthy. Want a burger? That's not healthy. Want a flip burger? That's still not healthy. I'll make it healthy. Lettuce wrap, one patty, Ooh. no cheese, Ooh. tomatoes, pickles, and that's it. It's a healthy burger. That does sound good. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I love you. He literally just called me and left me a voicemail and I'm right in front of him. I've been leaving the same voicemail for years. He has. Oh my god, do you guys want to see? He calls me and I don't answer. He whispers, I love you. Every time. This one is May 6, 2022. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> we have another one on April 23rd, 2022. <laughs> it's the same. Another one. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be talking to him right here? <laughs> 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 
Yeah. You better not look at me like that. Now that very well, I'm very good. You're dropping me.